How are you? I'm doing great on this pure Michigan day. How are you doing, Michael? Yeah, you've decided to run for re-election, I see. And uh, as of now, you, there's no opponent, from what I hear. True? Um, that's what I've been hearing. I'm sure I will have an opponent soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the moment, it's all to yourself. And did you ever, did you consider uh, running for Congress at all in, the, uh, in that Mike Rogers seat? There was some talk that your name, may, uh, maybe you were considering it. Um, I've always felt we need somebody that's in there that's going to fight for the people, that's going to be frugal and do the right things, and there's lots of people that would like to run to do that, and I really have so many more things that I'd like to finish up as Secretary of State of Michigan that it um, really isn't something that I would want to do right now. Was one of the things that you wanted to take care of making motorcycle riders a little safer, and how did you do that? <laughs> Well, I uh, ride every May, and I, I did ride to an ounce, too, on a really nice Harley, but I ride every May all around the state trying to encourage people to make sure they realize how important it is to wear the right gear and to take the classes. We have 40% of our accidents caused by the 10% that don't get the endorsement, so that means that they haven't taken the safety classes. So if you want to ride a motorcycle, there are classes you're supposed to take, like kind of like a driver's license? Well, yes. I mean, you have to have a motorcycle endorsement. They, we put a little C and a Y on your driver's license when you have taken the courses and been tested. And the people that don't do that cause almost half our accidents and most of our right. fatalities. What do you learn in the class and how long does it take? Well, it depends. There's classes all over at the community colleges. They're all over by independent people in the state that we've certified. And there's different kinds of classes. There's beginner, there's advanced, and there's a brush-up course. And um, there's not only book work, but you go out and ride a motorcycle. I did it at Lansing Community College, a little brush-up course, because it had been quite a long time since I'd taken a course myself. And it was just excellent. I mean, you think you know how to ride. I've been riding since I was 12 years old. Yeah. I grew up with all boys, and so I saved up my money from babysitting and cleaning houses and mowing lawns and and have you know we used to take boards and put them up over hills in the field and, yeah. and jump up in the air and do all kinds of crazy yeah. things. I have scars all over from it, but um, we had a great time. But really, uh, unless you take those courses, you really at, are at so much higher risk of getting in an accident. What is it? What is a typical accident? Um, I don't know if there, usually you can tell. Was it uh, like a slick road or uh, what are the reasons that motorcycles crash? Well, just the same reason that cars have crashed. Only add on that it's very difficult for us as um, motorists to see motorcycles sometimes. So I always wear a bright yellow fluorescent and and, and silver fluorescent vest over my my jacket. And the jacket's a very nice jacket, but it's well worth it to make sure people can see you to wear one of the vests that you might see somebody that's working on a road crew only maybe a little nicer. Mine says Harley Davidson on it, but um, it just makes you so much more visible. I think that's one of the most important things that motorcycle riders can do is stay visible to their drivers. But all the other reasons that uh, cars get in crashes too.